And we're talking a topic that Cena and I, we support this designing mm -hmm. shoes in this morning's Where's Marty? Yep, Marty is live once again. Tell us about who you're with, Marty. Again, we're with Dr. Jay LeBeau, noted uh, foot surgeon, almost 30 years in the biz, Orioles podiatrist, ran the Mercy Foot Center. You were just telling me that you treated patients one at a time for foot problems. Tell them what you just told me. One, I treated patients one treatment room at a time, one OR at, the, at a time, one problem at a time. Jaybirds, which is JBRDS, these are the shoes we're talking about. Gives us a chance to start kids off on the right foot and and create a global change, create better foot structure. Okay, tell them what they're looking at. This this is a, a newborn foot. You can see there's a calcaneus and a talus below the ankle, and metatarsals. The midfoot, there's a tiny little ossification center here for the cuboid, but there's no really structure to the newborn foot. So there's foot. no arch. At so one year of age. The cuboid shows up. Again, no structure to the midfoot, medial arch, only lateral column, what we call the cuboid. Okay. Here's an example of that one year old when they start to walk. They're bow legged and they're bearing weight on the outside of the foot. Eventually, during development, they become knock kneed at three to four, three to five years so of age. So, this is totally normal. When I but see my granddaughter needs, walking around bow legged, it's not like she needs a diaper change. Normal ontogeny. The, fe the femoral components rotate in, the tibial okay. components rotate out. It's a normal ontogeny, but we built a shoe that created structure, a cage that supports the cuboid, the outside of the foot, stiff lateral column to support that weight-bearing structure, a sock-like upper so it's easy on, easy off, and a suede sole so that they're not grippy, they have enough traction where the kid's not going to stumble and trip when they start to slide their feet. So no, so, so no matter how cool that baby shoe looks in a store, it's all about supporting the development to prevent problems later in life. Exactly. There's no, there's no step off. There's no heel lift. It's a okay. flat shoe. So here's my question. It's been burning in my brain. You're in the business. You're a noted doctor. Why was this never done? Why was this engineering never done? Nobody. I have no explanation. When we developed the shoe, we went to the noted last maker, maker called Jones and Vining, and. Jones and Vining sent us a four-year-old last, and it was a miniature adult foot. And I said, no, I need a one-year-old foot. If everybody has seen their one-year-old kid's foot, it's short, it's, it's fatty, it doesn't have the adult-looking structure. So we built a one-year-old last, and then he said, no one's ever done that before. Lance, Lance is a friend. I, I have I, no explanation. I, 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 amazing. Listen, we got to wrap right now. Now, there's a reason we're in a warehouse at Hollywood Sports, and it looks like we're in a warehouse. There's a, a, an interesting story that goes behind how Jaybirds are being marketed in the United States of America. We'll talk about that next half hour. My brother, you did a great job. You built a better mousetrap, and the world is going to be the path to your door. They're going to benefit from Just it. It's truly we're gonna, amazing. We're going to help thousands, if not millions, of children. Cool. Back to you. So important. Meanwhile, I'm also swooning at the thought of fatty little baby. Yes. <laughs> Cena's on Love a total. She's moved past the shoes now. She wants the babies to wear the shoes. I do. I do. <laughs>